Ruby is going to be a first grader, and I can't believe it. Like, ah, time goes so fast. Welcome to my world. Summer went so fast. Her becoming a six-year-old that's in first grade happened so fast. We're actually switching her to a new school, which is exciting. She's pumped up about it. Um, There's just so much going on. So last year, um, she was in Montessori school for kindergarten, and we love her school. Uh, She's gone there for a long time. And... I missed her first day of kindergarten because I was at our company convention in New Orleans. Do you guys remember my very first Liz Out Wild episode was New Orleans? Ah, that was a good time. Um, And we talked about, you know, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Like the reason that I work so hard and do this business is so I can have the freedom to be able to pick my daughter up every day and take her to school and um, have weekends off and have evenings at home. And so some things are worth missing, even though it kind of sucks. Like I'm going to miss her first day of first grade and I miss her first day of kindergarten. Like that sounds really bad. And it, it does kind of suck like because I know how excited she is. Um, but then on the other hand, I also know how excited she is that one, I can afford to take her on vacations and have vacations, but two, that I have the time to do these things because of my job. So the sacrifice, the sacri- there's always going to be sacrifices, but it's worth missing her first day of first grade to go be with a lot of um, people that I work with every single day, um, leaders that have changed my life, company that's changed our life, um, because cause the rewards, I guess outweigh missing that. Maybe I'm just trying to justify it. I don't know. Uh, Mark gets to take her. Hopefully he'll snap a good first day of school picture. I don't think he got one last year, but I'll try and remind him this year. Please take a picture of your daughter at her first day of school at her new school. He can do it. He can do it. Um, So the reason actually we decided to move her is Uh, So Ruby has seven nephews. Two of them live in Kentucky. And then the other five are here in Indiana. Um, But there are three of them are teenagers. Four of them are teenagers. Oh my gosh. Four of them are teenagers. And the youngest, Brody, is close to her age. So he'll be starting kindergarten. She will be going into first grade, and he is going to um, a different school. And so I'm like, oh, I want her to go wherever he goes. So we enrolled her at a St. St. Peter's Lutheran school. So she's going from Montessori to now a Lutheran school. So a big, it'll be a big change, but she's excited. It'll be good for her. Um, but I love knowing that they will go to school together. Um, I went to school with my older brother and younger brother, but also like all my cousins, except maybe three, four, five. Some, some of my dad's side cousins, we didn't go to school with them, but like we were all Taylorsville bears, (laughs) like all of us. And it's something that I loved so much. You know, maybe I'd have classes with them. My cousin Zach and I were in the same grade. I had two cousins, Allison and Amanda, that their cousins and they were a grade behind us. And then my older brother was, I guess they were two grades behind us. Then my older brother was one grade ahead of me. And so I chased him all through school. And then my younger brother was a couple grades uh, below Allison. And so it's, I just feel like it's so important or valuable, not necessarily important, but there's so much value in going to school with your family and having that that close relationship and them spending as much time as possible together. Um, they're two of the funniest six year olds. <laughs> they're crazy. Uh, they're wild. They're funny. They make each other laugh. They love each other. Um, they get along pretty dang good too. They play jokes on each other and it's just, 
It's so awesome. So here is to the 2018, 2019 school year. I know there's so many moms celebrating that their kids are finally back in school or you may still be on your countdown uh, until school starts and get back in their routine. Kids aren't home or at camps or you're shuffling or so it's it's gonna be a school a good school year and I'm excited. I'm excited for it.